we got some information to tell y'all in just a second as soon as we get these all and all of that. So I say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hey y'all. So, um, these folks here, look at this. These folks here, um, at the Wick office are the rudest people that I ever met in my life. And I don't understand why people who work with children, not just people in the Wick office, but, um, doctors, daycare workers, all these folks that work with kids, I don't understand why if you're going to have an attitude because you don't want to be at work or you don't want to do your job, work at FedEx. You ain't got to deal with nobody at FedEx but packages. You can have the worst attitude in the world when nobody care about it. Hold on, y'all. I'm out of breath, clearly. Y'all see, I'm trying to tote Zane around and whatnot. So, uh, I'm glad I had the keys as soon as I put them in the car. Y'all, I'm at the mall, Southland Mall Clinic. So, I don't know if all WIC offices are like this or if it's just this one. Because this is the only one that I have been to. So, these are the most disrespectful, un uh, inconsiderate, un... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for, but basically, these Negroes up in here, and y'all know I don't talk about um, black businesses like that because I believe in supporting my brothers and sisters and whatnot. However, comma, I don't feel like you should, I feel, this is how I feel. I feel like the people in the WIC office, especially at the WIC office, where the only one that I can speak on is the WIC office uh, at the Southland Mall. So especially in the WIC office at the Southland Mall, I didn't get all the people, but I got the main disrespectful ones on camera. But um, it's a, and dude, security dude, when I was walking out, when I said, look at this, he was on the phone talking to somebody about people in there talk about I couldn't go live because you know out of respect for people privacy but you need to see some of them folks in there so anyway I think uh they feel like because they work there they can look down at people that's coming in there and get weak let me tell y'all if I was a millionaire I'm gonna get weak because you know what I'm saying and that's free milk y'all know how much a can of milk costs I went they ringing up my cans of milk when I go uh get them from the, from the store Zane usually get nine cans of milk, but now because he six months, he gonna start getting seven cans, and then they give him baby food and fruit and cereal and oatmeal and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know if y'all can hear me. So, with that being said, nine cans of milk is like a hundred, two hundred some dollars. And because that's what my receipt from Walmart says, it's like 200 some dollars. And then sometimes me and Darius have to go and buy extra cans of milk at the end of the month to get him some more milk because he am ran out. So if I was a millionaire, y'all think, first of all, if I was a millionaire, I still want free stuff. What you mean? What, look, what I look like? So, um,. Yeah, if it was like absolutely necessary, I ain't even gonna say absolutely necessary because he's my baby child. He deserved the world. I love him so much. Y'all just don't understand how much I love that little one sitting back there behind me. So, um, I love him so much. I'm getting distracted. But what was I talking about? milk so if i was a millionaire and i ain't had to deal with bad attitudes like that i would still get with why not 
it's it's free stuff. If I was a millionaire and I was and I qualified for food stamps, you think I would be getting them? So I feel like the people in the WIC office feel like they can talk down to you, like, oh, you gotta be here, cause baby, best believe I can go out here and buy some milk if I wanted to. Best believe that. However, that's two hundred something dollars I can save, keep in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I can buy something, some outfits, some toys, or something with that. So. Yeah, that gets on my nerves. I don't like people feeling like they can look down at you. And what I've noticed is a lot of people that receive government assistance, a lot of people that work in that field or in that area or maybe the people on the ground are black. So, like, the Section 8 office I ain't gonna tell y'all. I mean, if I qualify for Section 8, you know what I'm saying? Your girl gonna be balling out here in the street. <laughs> but I don't. Well, I, technically I do, but they don't accept applications. So the reason I said these folks out here on Section 8 be balling. Do you hear me? Like these folks have five bedroom houses, chilling. So, uh, to pay $18 a month in rent. 18 I can pay for the whole t two three years how much you need so um yes if they ever open up applications for that I'm just letting y'all know your girl will be applying <laughs> but food stamps I applied for food stamps three different times got denied three times I have no clue how I got denied because I was just like y'all ain't got no job I applied when I was uh when I first went to college, they denied me. I applied a couple years after that, they denied me. I applied last year, they denied me. So maybe because I got a baby, I should apply again and maybe they'll give me something to eat. But I'm tired of buying food with real money. These folks out here pimping the system. Let me learn how to finesse the system. You know what I'm saying? Get rich. Y'all you know, get rich out the government dollars. Be sitting here, that's why I need a job paying cash. I'm telling y'all my whole plan. Somebody probably watching this video, like, don't get her nothing. But, um, y'all ain't got my full, well, y'all do have my full name. If you search that deep, y'all got my social security number, my birthday. Y'all probably got my birthday, too. It don't matter. I'm going to say what I got to say. So, um, I absolutely, positively, and I don't hate too much stuff, but I highly dislike the WIC office in the Southland Mall because them people are rude. Then folks coming there, they talking to folks any kind of way. They talking about folks any kind of way. And I'm just like, why are you here? Like, what is your purpose? They have babies crying and they act like they, uh, they irritated. Uh, all these kids keep coming here making all this noise. Ma'am, can you, uh, quiet your baby down? I was like, that's a newborn. How she gonna quiet a newborn down? Newborns do what newborns do. Like, that's why I don't understand. How you? How do you work with kids but don't want to deal with kids? That So, I, I really don't get that. And then, pregnant women in there, they talking crazy about pregnant women. That's what they was talking about while I was sitting up there. That I don't know if I, my father got that whole conversation. But they was talking about some pregnant lady in there trying to get some vouchers so she could get something to eat. That's not... I'm, my allergies acting up, but try, she trying to get something to eat, and they laughing about it when she left. They told her that she had to have an appointment and all this other stuff, so she got mad and left, and they just talking about her like a dog. So I was just like, this, I'm tired. So, uh, the people was talking about, I can't record them. They gonna sue me for something. Sue me, what you gonna get? This diaper bag over here? Congratulations, because let me tell you one thing you ain't getting. Nothing. You ain't get no money. You ain't get no property. So, uh, like, what you gonna do? Take me to court. Small claims court. Defamation of character. Cause I ain't, I ain't did nothing to nobody. I'm, I'm just telling the truth, and I'm pretty sure everybody that I ever been to the WIC office in the South Mall would support what I'm saying. What is he pouring in? They said she is the only one working she today. Like We 
at Dollar Tree. Oh, uh oh. Come on, fuck. Oh, Evans Preston, huh? He said that they only got one worker in there, so and she and she can't run the store and uh take deliveries and ring people up. So he she ain't let nobody in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Get you getting in this side or the other side? So, uh, y'all heard that? That side, you sitting right there? So, um. They want they not letting nobody in Dollar Tree because it's only one worker there. And the line, hold on, I'm, I pause because she over the door and tells them something. Close it up for us. Then why you keep get out and close the door a little bit, pull it up, and then get in. So, um, today ain't a good day. You know what I'm saying? She said that once she ring a few people up, then she'll let some folks in. But I don't understand what's going on. And the old white lady standing here, she got an attitude. Look at her. White privilege to get in this store. But anyways, this is ridiculous. It's literally nobody else in the store. It's probably like two more. Look. Ain't nobody there. My girl talking about she ain't let nobody in. I'm trying to go in there to get Easter baskets. Stuff to make Easter baskets. Ain't it fun? Yeah. And they won't let us in the store. Yeah. You made it fun? Yeah. What you gonna do? Hit them with the back. <laughs> So, we just try to get some stuff to make Easter baskets. That's it. That lady said, we on our lunch break. We just try to shop a little bit for the key. <laughs> so, she ain't lying. I ain't no, no lunch break, but that's what I'm trying to do. But, oh, uh, it's another white lady walking up. Another black lady walking up. Everybody just looking. Like, what's really going on? I'm finna call corporate, though. What they don't know. Look at this. That just be me. Yeah. I don't want nobody here. Somebody say, look, oh, motherfucker ass coming in. Really fun. Really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I heard it.